is Michelle Escobar and I am here today with the Shasta Public Libraries in the Anderson Library. I've been asked today to come in and share some stories. So I have brought Elmo with me. He is going to help me read a few books that we have, have picked out for you. I hope that everybody is staying very safe and being well with their schoolwork and social distancing. Um, we have Elmo with us today and he is also wearing his mask to show everybody how important it is to keep doing what we're told and washing our hands and watching our masks. So again, I just want to thank the Shasta Public Libraries and the Anderson Library for inviting me from Channel 9 to read to you today. So me and Elmo are going to get started. I have two Elmo books to share with you today. And the first one is just Elmo. So let's get started. Elmo says hi. Everybody wave, say hi to Elmo. Peekaboo says Elmo. One, two, three, where's Elmo? When you think about that, it kind of looks like you. Elmo is happy to see you. Meet Elmo's friends. Not only do we have Elmo, but we have Cookie Monster and Big Bird and Bird and Ernie and a few more of his friends from Sesame Street and everybody wants to say hi. Hello, Dorothy. Elmo has a fish and her name is Dorothy. Meet Elmo's family. So like everybody else, Elmo has a family. A mom and dad, a grandma and grandpa, or an aunt and uncle. Everybody has different families, but basically family is the same. Elmo likes to pretend. I think that maybe he's a chef and a painter and a pirate, and I think he might want to be a king. And Elmo loves surprise! Everybody loves a surprise. Splish splash fun. Maybe making a few little mud puddles out of the rain that we, we've been getting a little lately. Elmo likes to sing, la la la, la 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 la, Elmo's world. What do you think, Elmo? Am I doing as good a job as you? I'm trying. All right. And Elmo likes to exercise. Ready, set, go. It looks like Elmo's running today. What are your favorite things to do outside? I like to run. My children, when they were little, they liked to play hopscotch and tag, and maybe do some swing sets. All exercise is very good. And he runs off. Go. See you soon, Elmo. So he's out of here. He's running. And I think that's pretty accurate. Elmo says yes. So I hope that you enjoyed this first Elmo book that we have. And I'm going to trade with Elmo, and he's got something else for me to maybe share with you guys. Ready, Elmo? Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Eyes, nose, fingers, and toes. And I think that's baby Elmo, so let's, let's take a look at this one. Clap your hands and make a sound. Wiggle your fingers all around. Bend and reach to touch your toes. Stand up straight, point to your nose. Count your eyes, one and two. What are they, brown, green, or blue? I have blue, what are the colors of your eyes? Now we've said our silly rhyme, let's play the game one more time. Point to your eyes, point to your mouth, and your nose. Wiggle your fingers, both of them, and your toes. And that's all we have for Elmo today. I really hope that everybody enjoyed joining me. Again, thank you so much to the Anderson Library and Shasta Public Libraries for inviting me down. You can catch me at 603 North Market Street in Reading. Again, I am the Outreach Coordinator for Channel 9 KIXE. Thank you, and I hope to be with you again. Bye.